Hey guys, what's up? It's Backpedals here again, bringing you some news about the big Firefall patch coming soon. Um, it will completely change how the game works. They're scrapping the idea of the leveling system. They're adding ability customization, more in-depth battle frame customization, and they're reworking how the resource function uh, works. So, let's go ahead and get started off with the biggest change of all and probably the most important to a lot of people, and that is the removal of the leveling system. Um, it reads here, We have decided to remove the concept of levels from Firefall. You will no longer grind experience to gain access to higher levels which get your abilities to use equipment. You will no longer be able to reach max level and question what the end game content is going to be. Instead, we want to flatten progression down into discrete equipment tiers or weight classes. You have access to full breadth and depth weapons, abilities, and battle frame upgrades the moment you unlock a new chassis. It will be totally up to you on how you accolade your earned experience to unlock different upgrades. We will no longer di dictate your progression, roadmap, and when you have access to different abilities or weapons. It is totally up to you. You are now in control of exactly how and when you upgrade your equipment. So, coming from a big MMO fan, the biggest plus I see here is that since there aren't any levels, people won't be able to look at you and say, Oh, you can't do this boss fight because you're only level 5 or something like that. Um, it is completely based on skill and whether or not you've got enough brains to make good decisions about your battle frame. Um, they mentioned the experience to unlock different upgrades. Uh, which means that although you won't actually level up, you still earn experience points which uh, you can then use to spend uh, on unlocking new abilities, upgrades, weapons, etc, etc. Um, now I really like this idea a lot because in its current state you could have a level 15 assault and one day you feel like, oh I want to go ahead and try out the recon class. Uh, but guess what, your recon is still level 1, so bummer, that sucks. Uh, that won't be happening anymore after this is implemented. It was very irritating for me, and I have gained a lot of respect for Red 5 because they actually acknowledge uh, their faulty system and they're trying to rework it in everyone's favor, and that is great. Now, what I am hoping is that Red 5 will implement some sort of bonus experience for doing skill shots, which is like uh, the current uh, recons, uh, which they give you bonus experience for headshots. I wish they would implement something like that for every loadout in the game, so like the assault class. You could get bonus experience for directly hitting a target instead of uh, doing damage to them with the area of effect damage or you could use your if you use your primary fire to successfully hit something that is airborne such as a giant mosquito then you would also get uh, bonus experience from that I think something like this would be a great way for players with above average skill to be rewarded for uh, well having more skill um, instead of instead of being treated uh, to the same experience as some 10 year old kid who gets killed by his own grenade. It also reads, we are introducing an equipment constraint system. If you look at your battle frame as your base chassis, think race car, and your backpack as your power generator, think engine, imagine if battle frame offers only so much structural support for how much weight it can carry. Imagine the power generator actually generates power that supports all installed equipment. No longer will simply having a piece of equipment be all you must consider for installing it. Now you'll be making conscious trade-offs when picking gear to equip based on their weight and power consumption characteristics. Your base battle frame chassis provides you with stock gear and maximum weight limit. Upgrading your backpack will provide more available energy to power weapons, abilities, and modules. The most critical element for this system to work for us is to make sure that the cost in weight and energy for any given item or attribute is perfectly balanced and fair. If we can achieve this goal, players should have a near endless set of choices to make for how they customize their equipment. Equipment tiers will play a critical role in how we do our matchmaking. You will select which tier of equipment you wish to use in battle and you will be matched against other players with like tiered equipment. 
Only those battle frames in the same tier or lower will be available to play in the match. Thus, if you want to play with your friend who has only tier 2 equipment, you will need to have tier 2 equipment of your own to play as your tier 3 equipment will no longer be selectable. So your battle frame has energy and weight, and so as long as you stay within those energy and weight limits, you can customize your battle frame however you want, which sounds freaking awesome. Uh, no more running around hoping a random mob will drop a module that you can use for the battle frame that you want it to be used for, and not only that, but you also have to be the right level requirement for that item that you find, which is a big pain in the ass because that is very, very hard to come by. Um, both issues will be solved when they implement these changes. And the matchmaking system is pretty self-explanatory. I really don't need to elaborate on that, but it's definitely going to be nice now that for PvP we're no longer going, going to have the little guys getting utterly stumped by um, the higher-end gamers. Another great implement to the game uh, will be their garage feature, which allows you to store all of your battle frames within the garage and you are no longer going to carry them around in your inventory which is really nice because I'm a little OCD about my inventory in games and I like to organize it and make sure it looks nice and every time I log in and I see all these all this crap in my inventory I wish I could rearrange it but I can't and it drives me up a wall it says here we want to build more affinity with your equipment and really make your battle frames feel special and significant we are now working on building a battle frame garage where you'll be able to view and customize each of your battle frames. This is where you'll go and ask Oil Spill to upgrade your jump jets. This is where you'll go and select different abilities or give your battle frame a custom paint job. Now this, my friends, sounds freaking badass. I say the more cosmetic customization, better. Um, if you're ever getting tired of how your dude looks, you can just go ahead and change how your equipment uh, looks. And now you won't be able to run around look like everybody else in the game. Um, so you'll be able to separate yourself from the rest. I really hope that uh, Red 5 will eventually rework the initial character creation so that you can have a more distinctive face rather than like one in every four players you meet has the same face as you. That's kind of bleh. And lastly, we have the resource and crafting rework. Now, what they're doing with this is they're going to put different versions or quality levels of the same resource. So you can have two different item slots of the same resource, but one is a higher quality than the other, which allows you to create better, uh, more efficient items for your character. This does not mean that they're cutting back on the actual resources themselves. There's still going to be many different types of resources, all with different quality levels. Here it states, in addition to offering more in-depth player progression, we want to offer more depth in resource collecting and manufacturing mechanics. We want to offer more interesting things for players to chase after and spend time trying to collect or build. This starts with having more meaningful resources. Resources can become meaningful when they play a bigger role in the equipment you can craft. Instead of scanning for larger percentages of a certain type of resource, we will be adding a true rarity to resources. Higher rarity resources will contribute more to the attributes of the item you have crafted with the resources. The goal of this crafting system is to add a lot more depth overall. Players should be able to use unlocked technology to build items with specific attributes based on resource type and the technology they have unlocked. The different types of rarity of resources can offer bonuses to certain characteristics on the equipment being manufactured. The resource types themselves actually influence the attributes giving you control over what you're crafting. Overall resource allocations are meant to be more rare, offering great moments for players who stumble upon the mother load. So depending on the quality level of the resource, your equipment could be completely different in both raw stats and even different in functionalities, which I think is way awesome because in beta's current state nobody has any real enthusiasm towards thumper missions, uh, and now you can go out and get excited when you find a super rare quality resource to make yourself better than you once were. Um, so that's everything I can possibly think of to cover about the Firefalls uh, up-and-coming big patch. It's going to be completely reworking the game in such a positive way. I, I 
honestly can't remember the last time I played a game and I was actually excited for the patch to be released. Uh, Red 5 has definitely made nothing but good decisions for the game and I think the its developers like Red 5 who really deserve to be the top dogs and knock games like World of Warcraft off of their high horse and maybe slap them around a bit. Um, that's it guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for even more Firefall, and possibly some other videos like Skyrim if you're interested in that stuff, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace!